Okay, you asked for it, I'm going to give it to you. This is the money edition of Costa Rica Story, and this is the fourth edition. Stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story because we're talking about money. Hey there, and welcome to Costa Rica Story, and welcome to the annual money edition of Costa Rica Story, where I talk about what the U.S. dollar, Canadian dollar, and the euro is worth against the Costa Rican cologne. And it's been in the news a lot because there's the, the value of the Costa Rican cologne is way up and everybody else seems to be way down. So I used a common website for currency exchange, xe.com, which compares the price of various currencies together. And as you see here, we have the price of the dollar versus the cologne over 10 years and over five years and also over a one year period. And you can see the, the rapid drop of the value of the dollar. I'm just gonna let you know what each bill is worth and we'll just talk a little bit about the bills. So first we're gonna start off with the one mil bill. And it's very, very important to grasp this concept. Most people can get it, not everybody does. One mil in Spanish is 1,000. So this bill is 1,000 colonies. This bill is not one colony. This bill is not 1 million colonies. This bill is 1,000 colonies. So one interesting thing about the Costa Rican money is that the bills in the smaller denomination are shorter in length than the larger. And as they go up from the one to the two to the five to the 10 to the 20 mil, they get longer. So 1,000 colonies is worth $1.98 USD, 1.82 euros, and 2.69 Canadian dollars. And this is a beautiful, beautiful bill here. It's got a deer on the front, and all the bills are decorated with the animals of Costa Rica and historical figures from Costa Rica. I don't know who the historical figures are, but we'll talk about the animals. So this is beautiful with a, a white-tailed deer on the front. And believe it or not, there are white-tailed deer here in Costa Rica. So that's the one mil bill. Not one million, not one, 1,000, 1,000 colonies. Versus this. All right, next up is the two mil bill or 2,000 colonies. And the 2,000 colony or the two mil bill is worth $3.96 USD, $3.64 with a euro, 538 Canadian. And the two mil bill features the shark on the front or as we say here in Costa Rica, the Tiburon, and it, it's really beautiful. And also I should point out that the bills in recent years, since I've been here, when I first got here, the paper bills were paper, paper. I mean, they were, they had ink on them that if you went into the ocean with the bills in your pocket, they would run. And they discontinued those bills and they moved them out of circulation. And the only legal tender now is these bills made of a more synthetic thing. It, they don't run. So in these bills, there's little windows in them with holograms on them, and there's a, another little window over here with a, a a little miniature Costa Rica, and you can you can peek through that. So this is the two mil bill or two thousand colonies, and it's gaining value against the dollar. That's for sure. And and I I know my friend Senior Don will chime in on this. The uh, the Canadian dollar is taking a really bad beating here, and um, it's tough for people that are on a fixed income trying to live off of a pension in Costa Rica. So hopefully things will level out more, and it, it really isn't good for the economy of Costa Rica because it hurts tourism, it hurts imports, exports. A lot of complicated stuff I don't understand. Some of you more enlightened people can comment down below. It's been in the news a lot lately, so it's topical. And I've, been, I've had requests to do this episode again. So next up, as I've always said, is my favorite bill. 
And this is the five mil bill or 5,000 colonies. And 5,000 colonies featuring the monkey on the front, Mono Cara Blanca, a, a capuchin, white faced capuchin on the front. A five mil bill is worth $9.89 USD, $9.12 Euro, and $13.45. Canadian dollars. That's that's a lot. And I'll tell you, um, in 2021, when I I did my first episode, the uh, the five mil bill was worth eight dollars and twelve cents USD. So that's that was what is what was in my mind that this is always worth eight twelve. But things don't stay the same. It's a constant constant change of exchange rates and things. So. In 2022, five mil was worth seven dollars and sixty cents. And then go to 2023, it jumps up to nine dollars and twenty-six cents. So the value of this has changed considerably, and I'm and I'm just using this for comparison because it's it's in the middle. So, and it's it's a bill that I just like to talk about anyway. So, but I'm just using that. Of course, everything has gone up and down, so I'm just using this as a comparison because it's in the middle. So it's gone up against everybody. All right, we're going up next. We're going to go up to 10, the 10 mil bill, or as we like to call it, Oso Perezoso bill, and it's got a cute sloth on the front of that. And currently, in 2024, March 24th, I believe it is. The 10 mil bill is worth 1978 USD. 1824 euros and a whopping $26.90 Canadian. And um, this also has the hologram window on the side as all the bills do. There's two different windows that have the holograms. And as I was mentioning before, all the bills that our legal tender are the, the synthetic bills that don't run. If they try to give you a bill that is one of the older bills, you need to not accept that because other places don't accept that. I recently had friends that went to a casino. I'm not sure what, where it was in Hako or uh, San Jose somewhere. The casino passed off some of the old bills to them and they didn't know that they weren't able to pass them off to the next guy because they're no longer legal tender. I think there are, there's like one bank that still will cash them in. But the only legal tender is the new bills and they, they rolled them out pretty quick. So um, keep that in mind. Our next bill coming up, it's a very beautiful bill and it's got the hummingbird on the front. And this is the 20 mil bill or the 20,000 colony bill. And 20,000 colonies and 2024, March 24th, I believe it is, $39.56. That's a lot of money. And euros, $36.49. And if you're a Canadian, this is worth $53.80. Canadian dollars. Wow, that's a, that's a, that, that brings this up to like a, a pretty impressive bill when you think of it in, in those terms. There used to be a 50 mil bill with a beautiful blue morph butterfly on the front. They no longer produce those. So I guess this is the biggest bill, the 20 mil bill. So next we're gonna go on to the coinage here, or as we say here in Costa Rica, the moneda. And my favorite coin is it's got to be, you know, the 500 colony coin because it's the most valuable coin, most valuable regular circulated coin anyway. And this 500 colonies is worth 99 cents USD, 91 cents, 91 euro cents, and $1.34 Canadian. So this is a pr pretty powerful little coin. Very, very nice to have in your, in your wallet, in your, in your pouch. So that's a standard 500 colony coin, but they did come out with a special limited edition 
Colony, 500 Colony coin, which is really cool. But the only thing I don't like about this, okay, it's 500 Colony coin, but it's nowhere near the, the size of a 500 Colony coin. It's, the special one is, I guess it's meant more to just have as a keepsake. I've got a couple myself, but they, as far as circulation, it causes a little confusion because it's nowhere near the size of a 500 Colony coin, even though it is a 500 Colony coin. Sometimes things get confused, and you can compare the five, the normal 500 Colony coin with a quarter. That's a U.S. quarter, and that's the size of that. So next up, we have the 100 Colony coin. Oh, did I tell you? Yeah, we did. We went through what they're worth. Okay, next we have the 100 Colony coin. So the 100 Colony coin is worth 20 cents USD, 18 euro cents, and 27 cents Canadian. And you can see it's it's similar in size to the 500, but it's obviously smaller, but still larger than a quarter, a U.S. quarter. Next up, we've got the 50 Colony coin. The 50 Colony coin in, is worth 10 cents USD, 9 cents Euro, and 13 cents Canadian. And compared to the quarter, we have that. All right, that takes us down to 25 Colony coin. A 25 Colony coin is worth five cents USD, five cents Euro cents, and seven cents Canadian. Now to the 10 Colony coin. Starting to lose a little uh, buying power here. So this is worth two cents USD, two euro cents, and three cents Canadian. Next up we have the five Colony coin, and the five Colony coin is worth less than one cent USD, and less than one cent euro cents, and just about one cent Canadian. So that's it for all those. So I'm going to throw in a bonus coin here because I live just two hours from Panama and I sometimes go to Panama. And when you go to Panama, you can pay for things in the dollar and the dollar is worth, one dollar is worth one Balboa. And the Balboa is the currency of Panama along with the U.S. dollar. So the U.S. dollar and the Balboa are equal in value. So that makes it easy. And there's, they also have like quarters that are Balboa that, as I'm told by some, will work in some vending machines in the States. I've not practiced that, I've not tried that, but according to some people, like, uh, like a 25 cent Balboa will work in a 25 cent vending machine in the US. They are very equal in size, so uh, it could be true. One question I get asked a lot is, how do I convert my US dollars or my Canadian dollars or my euros or whatever currency you have into the Costa Rican cologne. And I can only tell you what I do. I have a Charles Schwab investor checking account, which is, has no ATM fees and no international fees. If there's fees, they're refunded. That's what I do and I use an ATM. I, tr I transfer from one checking account into my Charles Schwab account. And that's how I, I keep money in my Charles Schwab account just for the ATM. And that's the simplest way to do it. And you get a good exchange rate that way. I'm told the airport is a horrible exchange rate. And if you're, if you're at a vendor and you're paying in dollars, sometimes, especially because it's always changing, there's a good chance you're not going to get a great rate, you know, paying with a dollar. It's especially the way things are going lately. It's just, it's just hard to keep up with, you know, they've got to whip out their calculator and figure out what the latest exchange rate is. And, it's probably not going to be in your favor. So in my opinion, the best way to exchange your money is just have a, a debit card with no ATM fees and no international charges. And that just seems to be the best way to go. Also, if you have a credit card that does not charge international fees, that works out pretty good too. But not all places accept credit cards. And it's nice to have the money because let's just face it, this is beautiful money. And if you're in Costa Rica, you might as well, you know, might as well be enjoying the money here because it's beautiful, beautiful money.
So another question I get asked is, how do you deal with all this money, all this, all the, the coins and things? So what I do, this is my, it's not really a fanny pack, it's my side pack. I don't know, it's my pocketbook. I, I, keep, my, I keep my change in this part of it and I keep my wallet in this. But you know, you tend to end up like this with uh, a lot of coins. And I, this is what I do. I put my coins in, uh, in uh, plastic bags here. These are, these are my Panama coins. But, and these are my 50 Colony. That's my 25 Colony. And if, if I'm gonna go get bananas or something, I'll, I'll put like, you know, cause I get six bananas. It's usually around 300 Colonies. So I'll, I'll pull that out and change and go get bananas. But it, it's, it's hard because like when you get these, the silver ones, when you get like the, the 10 and the five Colony coins, I mean, this is what you have. You've got a, a bunch of this stuff. I don't, where, where do we spend this, you know? So like, most people end up with a big jar of, of silver coins that they have a hard time spending. Or maybe if you have kids, you can give it to the kids. So if you'd like to come to Uvita and do my Uvita day adventure with me, go to CostaRicaMove.com. There's a plethora of things we can do. We can go to the Uvita waterfall. We can walk out to the whale tail. We can go do a coffee tour. There's a list of things we can do. I also do consulting for those moving to Costa Rica. I can help you find an apartment. I can hook you up with a real estate agent or an attorney for your immigration. So go to CostaRicaMove.com for more information about that. And three cents Canadian. Hi, I'm in the middle of filming something. Oh, sorry. Oh, can you I just not... wanted to ask about the goats. They're crying a lot. Is that normal? Yeah, they haven't been fed. Okay, it's all good. But can you, can you stop her from barking? Because that's getting picked up on my mic. I'll so. try. Okay. All right, gracias. Yeah. So pardon the interruption that happens sometimes here when we're recording. We never know what's going to happen. So, anyway. <laughs> Where was I? 18 cents. Euro. So the 100 Colony coin. So the 100 Colony coin. It, what am I doing with all these millions and millions of dollars? No, no. <laughs> they're not dollars, and they're not million. So. So you've been asking for it, and I'm gonna give it to you. This is the annual money edition of Costa Rica Story. Stay tuned. Okay, you've been asking for it, I'm gonna give it to you. It's the annual money edition of Costa Rica Story. The fourth annual money edition of Costa Rica Story. This is the money edition of Costa Rica Story, and this is the fourth edition. Stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story because we're talking about money. Stay tuned to this episode of Costa Rica Story because we're talking about money. I know that got your attention, didn't it? Yeah, I knew it did. Hmm, so I, uh, hmm, so how can I get people to pay attention to this video? Hey, I got an idea. Let's talk about money, because that's what we're going to do in this episode of Costa Rica Story. Oh, that's stupid. Very stupid. That was stupid. Heads I win, oops, heads I win, tails you lose. All right, call it in the air. Heads I win, tails you lose. Okay, call it in the air. Heads I win, tails you lose. Semana Santa, you have no idea the craziness that's about to go down. <laughs> that's all I've got for the annual money edition of Costa Rica Story. Make sure you like if you liked it, subscribe if you want to, but most importantly, share this video and this channel with a friend. Hasta luego. Mm -hmm.